Hello everyone, it's Phil here with a video review on ATX to AT power adapters. Now, I've got a couple of 386 and 486 gear and they all have AT power adapters. So you could be using an old uh, AT power supply, but I'm always worried that they blow up and take some hardware with me. And I know a lot of people um, that went through exactly that experience. So I like to use uh, modern ATX power supplies. I've got one over here, it's a 500 watt. Um, FSP power supply and this is the power adapter that's an ATX the problem is they're not compatible so you need some form of an adapter and yeah. there are two types and I'll put the eBay links uh, down below so you know where to buy them I've got nothing to do with them so it's not me selling them it's just me reviewing them and telling you where you can buy them if you're interested um, so this is the first uh, adapter the ATX power supply goes in here and this goes to your motherboard and you've got to be careful that the uh, black wires, they belong together like so. And then you've got a switch. So unlike on the ATX power supplies, there's not a soft switch. So this is on and then to turn it off, you just click it again. Um, these are cheaper. They do the job really well. I've tested them and no problem at all. And then we have another type of product is this one. This one costs them a bit more, but it adds the negative 5 volt uh, support. So let's have a look at this one. So here's the ATX power connector. And this thing here um, converts the voltage. So you have negative 5 volts. And there's also a dummy load resistor on here. I'm not quite sure if, the, if this is actually needed because the other adapter doesn't have it and it works fine. But I've also tried this and it works without any dramas. And once again, we've got our power switch to turn it on and off. So I've done a bit of uh, recording to demonstrate the issue with the negative 5 volts. There are three popular sound cards that need, need negative 5 volts. It's the uh, Roland LAPCI, um, the Sound Blaster 2.0 and the Pro Audio Spectrum 16. I only got the Sound Blaster 2 and the Pro, uh, Pro Audio Spectrum 16, so I've done some quick recordings which we're going to have a look at now. Performing DMA test. Performing IRQ test. And that's it for this video. There's not much more to talk about. So 
rather than hunting down an old AT power supply that has negative 5 volts, um, you could go with one of these adapter. Now, if you're using a card that needs negative 5 volts, this is a really good uh, solution. If you just want to hook up a 386 or 486 and you don't have a sound card that needs negative 5 volts, you can save a bit of money and just go with the uh, slightly cheaper adapter. Both work, both uh, I have tested and I've been using uh, I've been using this from this one for quite a while and I've been using this one um, for yeah, a couple of weeks now and also had no dramas at all. That's it. As always hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Any questions? Just leave them down below.